Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Cloud Design and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create a banner for a YouTube channel uh, with Photoshop here. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is creating a Destiny banner. Um, this is a banner that I previously had made. Um, if you haven't checked it out, you can check my uh, last video to see the banner itself or check down my main channel, which is down in the description below. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is starting off with a background. Uh, what you want to do is get a little template here. Uh, I used a little, not just a little banner template, not anything else, but just a banner template. So I get the uh, whole layout here and the rulers and everything. So just find one of those. It's pretty simple to find. Um, not too hard to, um, to do. So uh, what we're going to do is start off with a background. Um, you can find any background and I just chose this one because it resembles space and it also resembles destiny but uh, again just open up Google and search up any background that you want like I said you can go ahead and uh, search up any background like I don't know destiny uh, traveler let's just go with traveler um, this is what I do so I looked it up and I used this one this is the one that I used um, can't tell and so actually I don't think that's the one that I used it was it's not popping up but um, again just choose any background that you want so you can even search up I don't know um, awesome simplistic uh, wallpapers let's just go with that um, okay not those realistic uh, wallpapers Uh, again, you can use any one of these. This one looks dope. That looks sick. I think that one's from Majora's Mask. Uh, it is. That's awesome. But in, anyways, you can just use any random background. Sorry, getting carried away there. Um, so from there, what you want to do is... So what I'm going to do is get a PNG. Again, that's for the Traveler. So I'm going to drag this onto here. And I'm going to resize it. Um, and if you get the wrong size, like say I don't like it when it looks like like if it would have been like this and it, you just you couldn't resize it you can press control and T if you are on a regular computer and not one of the shitty Macs and you can resize it from there um, and just center it to the middle and there we go uh, if you do have any text I have a tutorial for 3d text so you guys can go ahead and check out but again I added my own so here we go uh, that's the text I made again you can make your own text and then add it in from there now right on the here I have a CC that I made which is a color corrector if you don't know what CC stands for um, I will definitely have a link to this template down in the description below so you guys can use it um, instead of you know just having to create your own so I will go ahead and link it on Mediafire that way you can download it I'll also be linking this. This is a Zeb's uh, everything pack, uh, which comes with everything that you need for um, 3D or 2D um, banners, uh, making banners. So um, from here, I noticed that there's not a lot of stars in the background, and space has a lot of stars. So uh, what you can do is go on Google and search up stars uh, PNG. It has to be a PNG, that way you get the uh, transparent background. But I'm just going to go ahead and drag one on here. And I like this one. Like this one goes with the flow. So I'm just going to resize it, spread it out a bit more um, while holding shift. Be sure to hold shift because that always um, that'll uh, keep the aspect ratio. Um, pretty sure a lot of tutorials tell you that. So we're just going to go ahead and probably do it right about there. That looks nice. That looks decent. Uh, we're, again, we're going to put it behind the text that way. Uh, it doesn't go over it and we're just going to delete the rest of the stars so go and select your um your rectangle marquee tool and basically from there we are going to go and delete some of the stars uh, you won't have this stuff that popped up right in the middle of it it's going to be normal box for you uh, my photoshop is glitched at the moment so you're just going to see those boxes randomly um and if you get that error that i just got just double click it not double click it just uh, right click it and go to rasterize layer and then you can delete it 
So I just have to zoom in and zoom out. There we go. We got the stars. They look really nice. Um, I see some right here that I don't like. And delete those. And it looks even nicer. And to get rid of the delete, like if you were to still have this after you deleted it, press Control and D, and then there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and go over on the Zeb's Everything V4 pack. And we're gonna go to 3D because we have a 3D um, text. And so what we can do is uh, we can look, and I am going to like he even has his own CDs or CCs. So if you want, you can of course uh, put any of the CCs on. Um, are they working currently? What is going on here? Oh yeah, you gotta open them, that's right. That's why it says please open. So if I were, we can select what? This blue, blue two, which is like a purple, blue three, blue four, and yeah, you can select those. So I'm just gonna link this down in the description below, and that way you guys can download it, and I'm still gonna link this template down in the description below as well. So we're going to go ahead and go to, what the particles, what are particles, let's see. Ah, that's what they are, so, okay, alright. Uh, we're not going to use those. Uh, let's see what kind of rocks. Eh. Eh. Nah. Not really uh, getting it. Let's go to um, layer style. No. Not layer styles. Um, uh, here we go. Renders. These are awesome. Now we can look through these. So. Ooh, I like that one. But we can look through all these. Got the chains. Got the rocks in the background. Chains are just for the text, so if, even if we were, we're of course going to put that behind the text if we were going to add that, but we're not. Um, that's for like a logo if you want to uh, use that. Um, but other than that, I'm liking these rocks. So what you're going to do is right click it and you're going to go to duplicate to layer and then you're going to select the uh, template that or the file that you have open on the um, mm -hmm. on this and so now what we're going to do is uh, go on the effects and we're going mm -hmm. to move it a bit um, so we're going to move it to where I think right here is fine I like it right here but we're going to have to delete some of that so we are going to again go to the uh, rectangle or the square marquee tool and delete that and then there we go that looks a lot nice again you can add more effects so if I were to uh, we can go ahead and add the chains just to show you guys what the chains look like in the background of it uh, template right there and yeah if we were to add the chains it's like I just it doesn't look good on this type of background so delete I don't like the chains but if you were to use a more a detailed design then definitely go for the chain but uh, for now it just it looks terrible in my opinion um, I really don't like using chains because it just ruins the whole aspect and the flow of it you can use smoke smoke is really cool looking um, again if you see on here some of the smoke has black uh, background to it so it's not all transparent but that's cool that's fine you can easily make it transparent uh, let's go ahead and we're going to look for a light um, not a light I, I think it's a flare we can look for a flare there we go a flare um, I want I want a good one that one's decent ew ew oh wait I have an idea Oh, sick we can add this we can add the circular flare we can add that to the um, traveler the, oh this would look really cool sorry I didn't <laughs> expect to see this here so um, oh this looks sick so it's not gonna make too much of a difference but if we didn't have it then to where we do have it um, let's just get rid of the text for now and we can see what we're doing here everything is just so light I like it. Um, control T to resize it, and we're gonna just going to make it to where it fits the whole traveler. And done. Awesome. Just move it to here real quick. Again, all while holding Shift. Done. Add the text. Still looks pretty sick. This looks really cool. Um, and again you can add whatever you want so if we were to add the twinkle we probably could um, just go ahead and duplicate that and go over there sorry for the background noise 
Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are. Um, where to put it over the text? It wouldn't make too much difference. It's just a little twinkle. So on here, it wouldn't look the best. But if you were to like, I don't know, have less text than I do now, because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. So if you were to have text that was uh, lower than eight letters then that would be a lot easier but from there uh, that's the whole idea of it this is the whole idea of the uh, banner that you want again um, you can add whatever else you want um, take your time guys go through this whole pack because there's so much things like this is for 3d uh, renders this is for 2d so you can look at backgrounds like this and all that jazz um, but honestly, take your time and look through this because you might see some stuff that you have never seen before um, that will just help you out in general. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you did, please leave a like down below. As always, thank you so much. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video if it did help you out. Peace out, guys. And I hope this video made your day.